What's going on Rovers? It's Mr. Shalott back with another instructional video. Uh, this one is going to focus on isometric sketching with circles. Our previous video focused on sketching in isometric, okay, back on those 30 degree lines. Today we're going to focus on how to draw circles when you're drawing on an isometric. All right, so let me switch over here. Got a PowerPoint that I want to point out. The process. All right. Blow that up. Hit presentation. Uh, slideshow. All right, so let's talk about it. Okay, drawing in isometric with circles. All right, uh, going to the next slide here. Circular features and cylindrical forms are commonly known in engineering designs and appear as ellipses in isometric pictorials. So you cannot grab a soda can or a quarter or something that's a circle and trace it in an isometric. What we end up drawing is an ellipse, and that ellipse is an optical illusion that makes it look like a circle, okay, after we darken everything in. So when we look at this design, it looks more like an egg, depending on which side you are viewing it on, but it looks like a circle when you're drawing it isometric. So we have to draw an ellipse. There's a certain process, certain steps that you have to follow along when you're drawing these types of shapes. So let's take a look at the process. Again, we always start with a box, okay? This whole unit, all technical drawing, we're always going to draw with inside a box. So let me move my camera out of the way here. We'll continue to talk, all right? So the first thing you're gonna, what we're gonna do today is we are going to draw a diamond, okay? And wherever you pick your first spot, from that point, you're going to count up three boxes in both directions, and that's going to give you a V, okay? And then from where those two end, you're gonna count up three, and that will give you the top point, which will give us the diamond. Go ahead and draw that, pause the video, all right, so continuing on, we now have our construction box. We are starting to draw the top view of our isometrics with circles, all right? In essence, what we are drawing, um, think of like a stack of quarters. If you have like five or six quarters stacked up together, that's what we're going to be drawing today, all right? So after you have drawn your diamond, the next step that you are going to do is you're going to connect all of the corner points. So you're gonna end up putting a plus sign right through the middle of your shape. So go ahead and draw that, pause the video. Okay, you're gonna draw one big plus with the inside of that diamond. After you've drawn the diamond, okay, the next step is you need to find the midway point. So all the way around our diamond, around the four sides, from one corner to the other, you're going to find the midpoint and just put a little slash. Now, everything you've done so far should be nice and light. You haven't darkened anything in just yet, all right? So when you're doing this, we have three boxes, one, two, three. That means I have to go one and a half and make a mark. Same thing here. It's three across. I'm gonna go one and a half and make a mark. I'm gonna do that going all the way around, okay? After you've made those marks, on the center plus sign in the middle, you need to go two thirds of the way. Now that's going to be different depending on which line you are looking at. So from the center, heading outward, I'm going to go two thirds of the way and make a mark. I'm gonna go two thirds of the way and make a mark. And I'm gonna do that going all the way around the shape. So if you look on here, they have some red lines sketched out so you can see it. So from the center, I go up two thirds of the way, make a mark. From here to here, I come what I feel is two thirds of the way, make a mark. It's your best guess, okay? It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, all right? So from here to here, two thirds of the way, make a mark. Now at this point, 
you should see all of your marks, okay? There'll be eight marks going around, and at this point, we could start sketching our ellipse, which will look like a circle. To do so, you wanna start with the two ends first, okay? And what I mean by that is you're going to draw a C on the left-hand side, and you'll draw a backward C on the opposite side, all right? From there, you're then going to connect this point, go through that two-thirds, and meet over here at that half. And same thing at the bottom. Start here through the two-thirds and meet there at the midpoint down there at the bottom. Okay? So, let's see it. All right? At that point, our construction lines have been nice and light. On your page, you can barely see everything you've drawn, but we, know, we now know it's correct. So we can go back in and darken it in. You can see here on the drawing, they use that black pen and really darkened it in. You're just using your pencil, one stroke of the pencil all the way around, okay? You don't wanna do hyphenated lines as you're doing this, okay? Your final line should be one solid line going all the way around. And it should be touching the edge of the box, okay? At that midway point all the way around, all right? Next up, if we want to make this a stack, okay? Like I said earlier, think of like a soda can or a stack of dimes, some kind of uh, cylind cylinder here, all right? What we have to do is we have to then draw a secondary box. We're going to take that diamond that we have and draw another one down here at the bottom. So what we do, okay, is again, we find our mark. We're going to come up three boxes, go back three boxes, and then up from both of those, and you'll have your secondary diamond, okay? You'll have your secondary diamond. So once you have that, you'll remember our next um, step here along the process is we have to find our midway points. So we're gonna look at that diamond, find our four midway points, make sure we mark those off, okay? And then after we have those midway points, we're gonna get the two third points. So we'll go around from the center out, two thirds, center out, two thirds, center out, two thirds. All right, and now we can start to see that secondary ellipse that we're gonna draw down here at the bottom. Once we have those, okay, again, we can lightly sketch those in, start sketching in that secondary circle, start with our C on the left, our, our backward C on the right, connect across the bottom down here through that two thirds mark, like so, all right. And then from the top, we would draw a straight line, and if we did it correctly, this should be right above that mark right there, and this one should be right above that one. And when we darken everything in, once we know everything is correct, there is our stack of dimes, our cylinder, okay, and our shape is complete. So we did this with a three by three box, all right, here in the demo. It could be a four by four, a five by five, depending on what you're doing um, in order to draw this stuff, all right? Now, Looking at our Word document that we are currently working on, let me share out my screen. You guys are gonna pick some shapes, okay? For homework yesterday, I had you do up to number five, okay? Well, now on that same Word document, we're gonna do six, seven, and eight. You have to pick some shapes, okay? So as we, as we look here at some of the shapes that you can do, I will not allow you to do the closed pin. The closed pin is here, so we're not doing that one, all right? But you can choose a toothbrush, a flash drive, a flashlight, a computer monitor, um, a chair, surge protector, cell phone, remote control, okay? Any of those things. The other instructor approved item would be a whiteboard marker, okay? So any of these types of markers, these expo markers, let me hold it up to the camera here, okay? That type of marker I will allow. So if you would like to use a dry erase marker, you're allowed to use that as the other instructor approved item, okay? The trick is though, you now have to draw all of these things on ISO paper, okay? So we drew the, some of these things were on the list back when we did concept sketching. Now you have to draw them in ISO view. So you have to go, you know, back to the right, Okay, and we're gonna get our drawing looking real nice. 
some of these things, like if you elect to choose the flashlight, all right, you're going to have to use that box method that we just talked about in order to draw those ellipses to make it look like a circle. You can't draw circles inside of isometric drawings. You have to draw these ellipses and you have to follow that process. All right, as we scroll down, um, I'm gonna have you do item number seven here, okay? So you're just recreating this shape on your ISO paper. All right. And then item number eight, you can select any of these items from the list, okay? But I would like you not to do the graduated cylinder because that one's already done for us. So you could do a coffee cup, a flashlight, a jar, highlighter pen or pencil, beverage, can or bottle, okay? and a graduated cylinder, that one's already done, so we're gonna take that one off of the list, okay? So for this submission, when you're talking about drawing all these different ellipses, you're gonna have three drawings that you have to do, okay? Let me stop sharing my screen. Um, so that's the process. Please practice, practice, practice. You're not probably going to get things right on the first time. You guys have found that out moving, you know, from concept sketching till now, Drawings don't always come out right the first time, and that's okay, all right? It's a learning process. I want to see the progression more than I want to see the final drawing. So try your best. If you have questions, please reach out to me. Again, you're doing this on the ISO graph paper. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon.